Over 4 million tourists come to Oahu, Hawaii every year for its sun, surf, and shave ice. However, for local Kylie Chinen, instead of soaking up some sun on the beach, she figures skates on ice. Being an ice skater in Hawaii it feels kind of cool because not a lot of people here do it. With Ice Palace Hawaii, located in Aiea, being the only ice rink in the state. Like over here, you're very limited to coaches and ice times. Like kids on the mainland, they get different coaching experiences, different atmospheres. And 17 year old Chenin has been skating for over 12 years and also competes in local competitions. I've been competing for the past five years and I at least have like eight first place medals in Skate Aloha and 12 first place medals for Hawaiian Open. For Kylie, skating was more than a sport. Um, skating helped me be, like come out of my shell because it shows you how to present yourself in front, like in front of an audience. Like other 17-year-olds, Kylie attends high school at Waipahu High as a senior. However, her lifestyle has caused Kylie to skate on thin ice. In high school, like things just got piled on, so I had to juggle that with skating. Although Kylie has faced many challenges, she still continues to skate because she feels that's something I'm passionate about. Like I would feel overwhelmed, so skating was my way, like a, my sweet escape. And also because um, when I graduate high school, I want to become a coach. However, in Chenin's sophomore year of high school, the ice under her skates began to crack. Sophomore year, my dad got unemployed for a while because construction was slow and my mom had a furloughed paycheck so we couldn't afford to be sk sending me skating like five times a week. I cut back to like by a lot like only once a week. Mm -hmm. That really took a toll on me because like I felt like it was a burden for me to skate because so much of my mom's paycheck is being spent on me skating and I felt kind of responsible why like my brother was barely affording the classes in college he had now. With their financial issues having been solved, Kylie uses this as a life lesson. When times get rough, you can't give up. You gotta just push through, like find a way. There's always like some way you can overcome this obstacle. So. Kylie has recently been accepted to Hawaii Pacific University and plans to enroll next fall semester. Even though the pressures of ice skating at school could have knocked her down, she manages to persevere. This is Fa'avala Fasa reporting from Waipahu High School for Hikino.